Welcome to Olderhood Fast Facts. I'm Robin Trimingham and I'm with Bill Story, Olderhood CEO. This is the third video in our new series and it's the response has been really tremendous, hasn't it, Bill? Yeah, I think it's been, well, it's been more than we'd, we'd anticipated, to be honest. Uh, we, we broadcast this, um, this video cast uh, locally uh, and globally, to be perfectly honest. So we've, we've seen some tremendous traction uh, coming from all over the place. Yeah, and I think we're planning to do a lot of these, so everybody should stay tuned to see what's coming next. But before we get to that, today's topic is, should I use my rainy day fund? Exactly. Um, actually, to be perfectly honest, this is a very important one um, for the long term. Uh, we're in troubled times at the moment, but this, this one uh, should give you some ideas about the long term. Uh, issues involved with this. So the rainy day fund, we call it that, uh, you know, now is now the time to um, to be using the rainy day fund. But I, I think um, to begin with, uh, let's just explain what we mean by the by the rainy day fund. Um, it's it's the savings that you you do every month, uh, which may not be that much, uh, and it may not be for the long term, but it's. Uh, monies that you put aside either in a savings account or uh, maybe a cookie jar or something along those lines uh, that you've been doing for quite some time uh, for what we would call the unexpected cost. So that's what the rainy day fund uh, is. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, Bill. It's one of these things that anytime you get even a little bit of extra money, even a couple of dollars, uh, hopefully more than that, but even a couple of dollars at a time, it really da does add up for when we're in a situation like now. Absolutely, and that's something that, that I think we've always advocated that. We've advocated using the budget uh, process and, and then uh, putting a little bit aside every month uh, into, into the rainy day fund. But if you don't have a rainy day fund, uh, again, in these troubled times, the one thing that you should be doing uh, is to, as you can see there, cut expenses, cut your spending, now you know cut back on certainly luxuries but certainly you know look at your everyday expenses as well and try and cut back in some of these and i think people are really going to have to challenge themselves to be very creative in the ways that they come up with uh, new ways to cut back that they've never utilized before yeah i think there's a whole range of different things that that, that you can do and, and should do um, but here's here's the important point. Here's the big point I want to make about this rainy day fund issue, because uh, as you can see there, it says you must protect your long term savings. You must protect the long term savings. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is that if you're prudent and if you if you do um, you know what you should be doing, and that you're saving for the long term, and that could be uh, for the, a deposit on a house. Uh, a few years from now perhaps or college fees or perhaps even for retirement if you are saving in the long term that would be long-term savings if you're saving in the long term okay, and you've accumulated some funds and they're either in you know, a savings account or perhaps more likely a, a mutual fund or even up to an investment portfolio if you have that then this is what you must protect you must protect that long term fund because you know the chances are that you're not going to be able to you know fill it back up again if you wish um anytime soon i mean i'm not trying to scare monger i'm just saying that because the, your everyday expenses um could could lengthen out for for quite some time you've got to get control of the exp those expenses those uh, short term everyday expenses and don't and don't drop into or dip into the you know your long term savings that is just something you do not want to do better a little short term pain now than a long term life of regret because you spent the money too soon and it was too hard to resave it well, is it, well, you've got a you've got a double whammy, I suppose, a triple whammy, you might say, because if you dip into your long term fund uh, when it comes time to to retire, for example, then you've reduced your principal amount, therefore you've reduced your income derived from that 
uh, retirement fund. Um, the value of your portfolio, you know, would be less. And if you if you had an inheritance issue, that would be impacted as well. I think you've given everybody a lot to think about. Uh, we'll be talking about a lot of timely subjects like this in upcoming episodes. You've been watching Olderhood Fast Facts. Uh, if you'd like to give us a comment or make a suggestion for an upcoming topic, you can contact us at Bill, that's B-I-L-L -L, at olderhood.com. And remember to follow us on YouTube so that you never miss an upcoming episode. We look forward to chatting with you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.